All right, guys, so in this video, what we're gonna be breaking down is three key skills you're going to want to acquire. And I guarantee you, after watching this video, if you apply the three main things we're gonna be talking about in this video, I guarantee you, you will be walking away a better PUBG Mobile player. Uh, as of right now, in season five, I've actually been playing this game since season one. Uh, but season five is by far the best season that I've had. And it's because of these three things, uh, these three skills that we're gonna walk away from this video. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so we have a ton of gameplay um, that we have outlined for you guys. And I'll be kind of highlighting each of these skills as we go through. A lot of these come hand in hand with each other where you can't do one without the other. So the first one is reaction time. Improving your reaction time is going to make the biggest difference in your gameplay. Look at how quick that was with the AKM and the red dot. We'll even slow it down and it's still, it's so fast and it's so crucial um, reaction time. Uh, it, like I said, it's gonna go hand in hand with a couple of these other uh, tips and tricks or skills that you're gonna want to that you're going to want to acquire. And the second one, which is absolutely crucial, is positioning. Um, and of course, number three is outmaneuver. Remember, this video is on how to improve your close combat. Uh, or your close quarter combats, uh, close encounters, close engagements, you know, whatever, whatever terminology you want to use. Uh, but like I said, all three of these are kind of go hand in hand with each other. Look at all these people dropping down in Roz. Roz, when you got a plane path going right over the top of Roz, it's going to be a hot spot. So we take a couple shots at this dude right here, and I'll kind of break down the gameplay um, so you guys can kind of see what's happening in each of these clips right here. Another crucial tip that you want to know uh, without, look at our, look at my freaking health. No armor, no nothing. Uh, we had footsteps all around us. We, I decided to push this dude right here. Um, but yeah, so pre-firing. Um, it's not going to, I mean, it's not part of the three, but it's, absolutely paramount it is so freaking crucial and it, i guess it kind of goes with reaction time as well but you, you guys are going to see quite a few clips in this video of me pre-firing corners and how it, how important it is uh and it can make the make or break uh it'll make the difference whether you're going to the lobby or if you're gonna be uh, continuing this game right here, get this guy going down the mountain right there. And I think that was the second dude in this duo right here. So we're also gonna be, I'm, I'm trying to set up different scenarios so you guys can kind of get a taste um, you know, of, of all 31 flavors right here. So we have, we're on the outside, obviously, me and Warbot, we're on the outside. And then we have a duo that's inside that red building right there. Again, in Razak, I believe this is the same game as well. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys how to push into buildings. I know a lot of people have been asking about that. How to defend the building using these three skills uh, and you know walk away victorious. You can see uh, Warbot was actually just knocked right here. So again, it's all about positioning. This dude decided to push. He did not see me on the other side of that wall. Remember, it's all about positioning and there's probably a million different scenarios. So a lot of that is gonna come down to IQ and just kind of knowing just kind of knowing the game, just playing the game. You have, you know, you can't be, you know, five weeks into season five and only have 30 games in. Um, this is gonna take a lot of practice for sure, for sure. That's one of the biggest tips. And then he went ahead and got the wipe right there. Dude was inside this house. Um, but yeah, knowing when to revive, knowing not uh, not to revive. He didn't see him behind that wall because of my positioning. And again, we were able to take him out because of that reaction time. And the outmaneuvering, that really comes down to where you're literally like uh, face to face, you know, when you're three meters away from a bad guy. So I don't know why exactly they dropped that smoke, but you can see they're pre-firing, but we have an AKM. And again, pre you can see I just pre-fired that corner right there. We're, we're able to outmaneuver and we were able to get the wipe. And this is over in, yes, this is over in uh, Ferry Pier. And don't worry, I have, and I know a lot of you guys, again, have been asking about how to defend um, buildings that you're in. So again, I have a lot more examples in uh, this video right here. So we're, again, we're getting pushed. You can see we had pre-fire. We're able to outmaneuver. We ended up getting the knock. I tried to, I tried to uh, uh, thirst him right there. Um, got a few shots on him, but he was just out of my reach right there. 
You can see the footsteps on the mini map. I'm gonna go ahead and heal up real quick. Um, what does it take? Six seconds to pop a first aid. Remember, it takes 10 seconds to survive. So I'm at 75% health and guaranteed he was not. He has not been able to uh, revive his teammate. Here's our positioning. And then we go ahead and take out the dude. He was about, he was starting to arrive, but he ended up um, backing off as he heard me. We pre-fired and we got the wipe. So this is, this is freaking intense right here. Docs, you guys, docs in Sonok. Incredible loot, but it's very, very highly contested. Um, so, and there he were taking shots right there. Look at my health. I have no helmet, no armor, nothing. I think we had, I want to say maybe three, if not four different duos land here. Um, I believe, yes, we're playing with Buck in this game. So look at the first day, but you can see I already repositioned. So that was number one. So now what we're trying to do is, look, as you guys see, with our shots, every single direction, sometimes it's hard to actually pinpoint where, especially when you're first landing, you know, where you're going to be aiming. You can see right here, uh, we go ahead, again, that reaction time, we're able to take out this dude. Notice I'm not thirsting him. I can hear, you can hear those footsteps inside the warehouse. It's not worth it. We'll go ahead and leave him up. Maybe I can make a separate video on when, when to and when not to thirst. And they end up thirsting Buck. And we're going to go ahead and take out this dude, who was the partner of that other guy uh, that we knocked right there. And we still have a couple duos. I have to loot. Um, unfortunately, I was not able to save Buck. He thirsted his teammate. Um, maybe I shouldn't have given that guy, uh, you know, the, the courtesy, the dude that was out back. So here we go. Again, we, we just pre-fired around that corner. We end up getting one knock. We go behind the wall, we're gonna reload, and now we're going to reposition, as we know, he's me going for the revive, we're gonna pop this drink right here. And notice, again, pre-firing the corner, we end up taking out this dude, and you can see we end up getting the wipe. We're all alone now, unfortunately, but uh, we're able to stay alive and continue this game. And again, guys, it's not always, I'm gonna show you guys a couple examples. Uh, you can see we pre-fired right there as we're approaching this house. We're almost at the end game. We do get a knock. Uh, but yeah, you're not going to win every single close combat engagement, but that is where you're able to learn from your mistakes. My mistake there, I'd say I was aiming too far down. I think I was shooting at the dude's kneecaps. Um, probably should have aimed up a little bit higher and we ended up getting taken out right there. So we're getting pushed from these dudes. Okay, get a couple shots on them. And this was probably one of the first times this has ever happened to me. So I end up getting the knock um, on this dude right here. And if you guys look, I have zero ammo. I have no ammo for my scar. So I'm gonna try to go around the steps. And we try to get him with the M24. And unfortunately, it did not work out. Uh, but like I said, you're not going to win every single close combat engagement. Um, but again, it's always it's all about learning from your mistakes and getting better. So we got a dude right here uh, with a car 98. Look at this dude. He had no idea, no idea where we were. I'm going to go ahead and get the thirst because I don't know exactly where his partner is. And I have zero health. So we're going to go back upstairs right here, and I'm going to go ahead and heal up. We'll just go ahead and, uh, <laughs> we'll go ahead and uh, fast forward through this. And we're going to see if we can reposition and if we can outmaneuver uh, this last guy. So we're just trying to locate exactly where he is. It sounds like he's kind of going from outside back to inside, as you can hear the difference in his footsteps. Just trying to locate him, and you see the zone is right on our asses right now. And I'm trying to see, I, I, was, I was assuming he was me coming up the stairs, but now it sounds like he's back outside again. And he knows that we were inside this building right here. So we're going to go ahead and reposition. And you see we're going to go ahead and jump out the window, going around the corner, and here he is. We go ahead and take him out, and we outmaneuver him. Uh, strafing back and forth and we end up uh, taking them out right there but like I said you guys using those three skills reaction time outmaneuver 